Welcome to the Mark Record News, I'm your ranker the Raziellum. Usually vampires suck blood in order to regain their youth, I suck blood in order to regain my boldness. Our top story today, vampires, yes vampires, it's time for everyone's favorite vampire, not that one, the other one. Um, actually Vampire Kanagi is not actually getting a return, but this one is the second one, we've got a Kush right here. So here's Kush, and that is really her name, this is Kush. And we're gonna have to take a look at her. We're gonna have to take a look at her. Of course, she comes with her event. She comes with some other stuff. Yeah, we're gonna take a look at that as well. But the most important part is, here's a new Megoka. What does this Megoka do? And I said before this Megoka is broken on the forum or whatever and in Discord. Why is this Megoka broken? Well, let's find out. So she's an, uh, a Magia type, which basically makes her have a lot of attack uh, in this case. Uh, she has three Excelsis. Wait a second, a Magia type with three Excelsis is pretty good. Uh, not broken, but pretty good. She gives damage up on connect, excel MP up on connect. Oh, that's pretty good as well. Put her on, put her on a Magia team, right? I mean, she's a Magia character. Put her on a Magia team. Makes sense. Her Magia is attribute strength and damage. Oh, so we're looking at a damage dealer for a light type Kimochi. I wonder if there's a light type Kimochi coming up. Hmm. Okay, back to the unit. So attribute strength and um, damage Magia. It also gives Magia damage to uh, the entire team. To the entire team, man, that's also pretty good. It also gives Dark Attribute damage up to the entire team. That's even better. Dark Attribute damage to the entire team and Magia up and Strength and damage. It's almost like there's a Kimochi coming up. Hmm. So back to the unit. Uh, here's what else she does. She does MP damage to enemy, which in 99.99999% of cases does absolutely nothing. Let me rephrase that. In 100% of cases, there's absolutely nothing. Secondly, she also gives herself a little bit of MP. Sure. So it's just a little bit of MP restored herself, which is fine. She also gives herself... That is... Wait, wait, this is weird. This is some really weird stuff right here. So when the battle starts, any battle starts, she gives herself a buff. It lasts for five turns. And this buff does the following. It gives herself double damage up and magia damage up. So she just passively gives herself that on top of the, the buff she's already getting from SE. Like, you know that every single character in Spirit Enhance gets, like, bonus double damage and bonus magia damage? She gets even more for five turns, and quite a lot, too. Like, Roman numeral six and five, that's, like, uh, it's like 17.5% magia damage up and, like, 20% or something, 30% even? Double damage, uh, market, uh, uh, double damage or something? I, I don't know the exact numbers, but that's a lot. That is a lot already for five turns. For five whole turns, you get that much. Keep in mind that market damage up uh, also increases the damage of doubles. So uh, market damage buffs market and double, and double damage only buffs double. So if you have a lot of market damage up and a lot of double damage up and you use double, you get like two buffs. Uh, that increase your damage, which is really good. And both of these buffs are multiplicative with the rest of all your other damage buffs. Meaning that double damage up and market damage up is really fucking powerful. And she just gets a shit ton of both of these for five turns when the battle starts. On As an exile character magia type with a lot of attack, who has attribute strength and damage against light types. That's pretty darn fucking powerful. But this is only for one Magia or Doppel. If you use multiple, she buffs herself uh, and the entire team with Magia damage up and even more Dark Attack up. Hmm, that's pretty darn fucking powerful, dude. Uh, we don't know what her Doppel does exactly, I think it might say down here, but uh, her Doppel is gonna be even stronger than this, like in its effect as well, so. Day day, you got some good shit in here. What else do we have? Like HP regen to self, I guess because she's a vampire or something. I don't know. This is like the second Castlevania character we have. She's got stereoscope bats. Or something, I don't know. Uh, and then she gets um, damage against witches. Kimochi aren't witches, but she just gets passively damage against witches. Passively, I don't know. I don't know. Um, that's pretty cool. Looking at her memoria, so you might think, that, okay, you know what? She's a super duper amazing dark type exile character. She's gonna be a better DPS than Rikaren against light types, which, you know, if, if you were using Rikaren or Tokanemo, uh, also, uh, if you're using either of those against light types as your Magia damage against light types, she's gonna be better than both of those in most cases, not in all cases. For example, Tokanemo, they have uh, the weak MP damage bonus, uh, that, uh, like the weak MP bonus rather when they get damaged. 
she doesn't have this. Uh, and Rika then, they're of course super duper fucking gay, so Shikoshu isn't like that. Uh, so if you were using either of those two characters, or like either of those two units, Kushu is just gonna be better than them until another one like this gets released. But even if you don't want to roll for her and you say, okay, I don't need a dark type character, I don't care about dark type characters, or I, I don't care about this Kimochi or like Magia strategies in general, like maybe you maybe you play charge strategies, maybe you play charge blast strategies or whatever, and you don't care about something that is like purely focused on Magia, okay? Well, I'm gonna lose out on two very important things because this memoria is also kind of fucking nuclear like this memoria right here gives maga damage up seven to self for one turn which is fine if it if this memoria was just this it would be a normal balanced memoria but that's not the only thing it does it gives double damage up double damage on an active memoria didn't I just say that double damage is actually really fucking good because it's multiplicative together with uh, Magia damage? And here's the thing, here's a Memoria that does it. You might be thinking to yourself, I've never seen double damage on a Memoria. You're right, this is the first Memoria ever to give double damage. And quite a lot of it too, like 30% or something maybe? Uh, so... Ugh. Both, both she herself is absolutely nuclear on Magia teams. Especially against light types like the next Kimochi. <laughs> but also her memoria. Her memoria is also absolutely nuclear on Magia teams. This is easily, easily the best Magia DPS memoria in the entire game. So maybe you want to actually roll for this. Or maybe you don't, because here's another thing to worry about she's unlimited. This is an unlimited character. She can just spook you randomly. This is a character that can spook you. Like Mikage. Mikage is also one of the best characters in the game and she's like an unlimited character that can spook you. This Memoria is also unlimited. This Memoria can just spook you randomly in the support point gacha. Your daily 10 support point rolls, you can just get this. Cool. And then we have this, which is just charm immunity, like potion immunity, sorry. Uh, and like defense up. Where? Who gives a shit? But yeah, this is this is Kush. Kush is she's pretty darn good. So uh, speaking about Kush, did you guys know that there was gonna be a Kimochi coming up soon? You might have not noticed that there was gonna be a Kimochi coming up soon. That is a light type, so you can have so you can use your dark type characters against this light type Kimochi to do super effective damage. If only they released a dark type character with super effective damage against this Kimochi. Uh, and also this Kimochi is a Magia focused Kimochi, so if only they, re they released a Magia focused dark type character who is super effective against light types right before this Kimochi so, so they can make the most use of this. Uh, so this Kimochi ha happens in the middle of November, meaning they can release another dark type unit before this one. So this is happening in the middle of November. And they're, basically, they're saying something like um, this Kimochi has multiple uh, anti-debuff shields so you have to use multiple debuffs or multiple aimants to get past the shield and you might want to use some buffs as well so they listed some characters that give a lot of de debuffs or aimants to enemies while also giving maybe some buffs to your team and like maybe you want to use some buffers and stuff but you know which character you really want to use you know which character you really want to use you know I, I don't need to say it i'm gonna say it anyway you want to use kush against this kimochi moving on an event. He comes with for own event. It's not called OnlyFans, it's called Only Dreamers, which is the very safer work alternative to that website. Where apparently it's Kush's story, and it's a story about her and her friends, which funny enough include Ikumi, who is weird that she's in here, but you know, it's apparently not playing in current time. It's a playing apparently playing in the past or some dream version. I mean it's called Only Dreamers. There's probably some dream like realm that they're in, okay? So that's why Yukumi is here and not, you know, yeah. Uh, and Yuki guys there as well, apparently they were all friends, maybe they were all in the Black Feathers together, who knows? Or White Feathers, just, you know, they, maybe they were all Feathers together. So, in this event you'll gather uh, some goth stuff and it turns into mirrors. Cool. So yeah, it's a double tower, it's a double tower. If you like double towers, you're gonna like this one. Uh, if you don't like double towers, well, <laughs> sucks to be you, but just gonna, there's so many double towers recently in the game. This is just one more. And of course, you're gonna get the enhancement as well and the, like, the special enhancement that has been in the last few events. In these events, you only get it for Kush. So if you didn't draw Kush, then this one doesn't even matter. Uh, you get some backgrounds. It actually shows the backgrounds right here. The first background that you can get from this event 
is apparently this really dark looking uh, forest area which looks really nice and a lot of people were like oh man I want, I want to have this really dark evil background for my favorite vampire vampire kanagi that was that hope you guys enjoyed this hit that subscribe button ring the bell and i'll see you guys next time